Hi everyone, welcome back to Wild Reads. Welcome back to another video. My name is Dave. Today, I have six brand new crime and thriller books coming out for you in the month of June. These are all hand-picked by myself. Um, and these are the books that look absolutely fabulous and they're coming out next month. Let's crack straight on. I've got six of them for you and an honorary mention. The first book is called One More Chance. This is published by Little Brown and is out on the 28th of June and it's written by Lucy Ayrton. And it says here, Danny hasn't had an easy life. She's made some bad choices and now she's paying the ultimate price, prison. With her young daughter Bethany growing up in foster care, Danny is determined to be free and reunited with her. There's only one problem. Danny can't stay out of trouble. Danny's new cellmate, Martha, is quiet and unassuming. There's something about her that doesn't quite add up. When Martha offers Danny one last chance at freedom, she doesn't hesitate. Everything she wants is on the outside, but Danny is stuck on the inside. Is it possible to break out when everyone else is trying to keep you in? So that was One More Chance from Lucy Ayrton, published by Little Brown and out on the 28th of June. Another title out on the 28th of June is this one. This is called Mine. This is written by J.L. Butler. This is a debut crime book. This is published by HarperCollins and is also out, as I said before, on the 28th of June. Now, a word of caution here. There are two books coming out next month with the same title. Both these books are called Mine. This debut novel will be your new obsession. Francine Day is a high-flying lawyer about to apply for Silk. Ambitious and brilliant, she just needs one headline-grabbing client to seal her place as Queen's Counsel. Martin Joy. The attraction is instant, obsessive. They embark on a secret affair and Francine thinks she can hold it together. But then Martin's wife goes missing and Martin is the prime suspect. Francine is now his lawyer, lover and the last person to see Donna Joy alive. As the case unravels, so does Francine. My client, my lover, my husband, my obsession. Set in the Inns of Court in London, where justice and corruption have played out for centuries. J.L. Butler's taut, gripping legal drama brims with suspense and obsession. And only you can solve the case. Uh, so that's Mine by J.L. Butler, published by HarperCollins, and out on the 28th of June. The next one I have for you is Three Little Lies by Laura Marshall. I read Laura Marshall's debut book last year and it was fantastic. Laura Marshall attended the Erin Kelly School of Creative Writing. Her first book, Friend Request, was really, really good. Um, so this is her second book. This is Three Little Lies. This is going to be published by Sphere and is out on also the 28th of June. 28th of June is gearing up to be a thriller day. Sasha North has gone missing. Everyone said she's run away, but I know better. We've been best friends since we were teenagers, since Sasha swept into the neighbourhood and brought colour to my life, until a brutal attack changed both of our lives forever. I know what happened that night. I know who wants revenge. And if Sasha has been taken, does that mean I'm next? That seems really good. That's Three Little Lies written by Laura Marshall, published by Sphere and out on the 28th of June. The next book I have for you is written by Karen Perry. This is called Your Closest Friend, published by Michael Joseph, and out, guess when? Guess when this one's out, viewers? The 28th of June. On a hot, humid night in London, Cara Jameson's busy, fulfilling life is interrupted with the sound of gunfire. Panic and terror grip the streets as the air is filled with screaming, and Cara is pulled roughly to safety by a stranger. Taking refuge in a storeroom, Carla huddles with her saviour, Amy, and in the darkness she says she shares more in those hours than she ever has, even with her husband. When she emerges hours later, a bond forged in the trauma of that night has been formed between them. Returning to work, Carla tries to put the experience behind her, but the incident has taken its toll. And as cracks begin to show in her perfect life and marriage, Amy reappears set on pursuing a friendship. Cara wished she hadn't shared everything she did in those hours of darkness, but as her life skids towards deepening violence, there is only one person she can turn to, Amy, her closest friend. That seems really, really good as well. That is uh, your closest friend, 
written by Karen Perry, published by Michael Joseph and out on the 28th of June. And the next one I've got for you, this is called How Far We Fall. This is written by Jane Schemelt. It is out the 28th of June. They're all out on the 28th of June so far. It's a complete coincidence. We'll see if the last one's out on the 28th of June. I don't think it is. I think I know the reason why these are out on the same day, which I'll get to soon. So this is How Far We Fall. This is published by Michael Joseph. The perfect couple. Meeting Albie gave Beth a fresh start, a chance to leave her past behind. Now she has her new husband, an ambitious, talented young neurosurgeon. The perfect marriage. Their marriage gives Beth the safe haven she's always wanted, with just one catch. Albie has no idea of the secrets she's keeping. He doesn't know that years ago, Beth had an affair with Ted, the boss helping Albie's star ascend, nor that the affair's devastating ending will have consequences for their own future. The perfect storm. So when Ted's generous patronage begins to sour, Beth senses everything she's built could crumble, and she sees an opportunity to satisfy Albie's ambitions and her own obsessive desire for revenge. She'll keep her marriage and her secrets safe, but how far will the fall take them? That seems really, really good as well. That's How Far We Fall by Jane Schemelt, published by Michael Joseph, and out on the 28th of June. And the last one is The Chosen Ones. This is by Howard Linsky. This is published by Penguin and is out on the 14th of June. Something that's not coming out on the 28th of June. Uh, this looks really, really good as well. Eve Dunbar wakes in a large metal box. She has no idea who has taken her. She has no way out. Eva isn't the first young woman to disappear. Detective Ian Bradshaw, heading up the search, has no leads and precious little time. When at last the body is found, the, hope, the police hope the tragic discovery might at least provide a clue that will help them finally find the kidnapper. But then they identify the body and realise the case is more twisted than they ever imagined. So that was The Chosen Ones. That's by Howard Linsky, published by Penguin and out on June the 14th. Now, I think the reason that a lot of books are out on the same day each month, because at the beginning of June, there's a crime and thriller book coming out, which is going to be absolutely huge. I'm not that interested in it myself. But I know there are a lot of people that will be interested in it. This is The President is Missing, written by the, the, the worldwide best-selling author James Patterson and the ex-president Bill Clinton. As I said, this one doesn't appeal to me, but Century, the publisher, will be throwing uh, a marketing budget the size of the GDP of a Latin American country. So you are not going to be able to escape this book. There will be advertising for this book absolutely everywhere so i'm not going to go into it now because there'll probably be thousands of people researching the blurb on this book and it will sell in huge numbers let's be honest it just doesn't appeal to me so that was it that was six crime and thriller books to look out for next month uh, don't forget all these publishing dates are uk publishing dates only if you don't live in the uk then either get international shipping from the links below or check your local bookstore uh, to see if this particular book is being published in your territory. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Uh, whatever you're doing this week, enjoy your books, and I'll catch you very soon for another BookTube video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.